So it's been a while since I've done a haul video, but um, I accumulated a lot of stuff. Um, I don't find a whole lot in stores that much. I think the last time I found something really good was when I went to K-Day. So some this stuff's been built up since my last haul video, which I think was three weeks ago. Um, some stuff is from like swap meets, toy shows, and uh, I think uh, county fair. I will start off with this toy show I went to today. Um, a lot of the stuff I got was 50 cents each, which was a good price. It cost $3 to get into the toy show, which is still pretty good. I still ended up paying that whole lot for everything, if you calculate the stuff in. So this is Street Beasts. Oh, and by the way, it was also a uh, cosplay toy show, so people were in cosplay outfits, or at least a few people were. So this is uh, Street Beasts. I think there was a couple names for this particular vehicle. It's all metal and it's not made anymore, which makes it highly collectible for me. And it's also one of my favorite cars to collect. Um, next, got the first edition of the Bat. Um, 50 cents, I decided to pick it up, even though I had a bunch of different ones. I just didn't have the first edition one, which is all black. Um, 2012 first edition. There's some information on the back if you need to see that. Let's see, we got... The Volkswagen Beetle, which shows up a lot. Um, tires are pretty cool. It says Goodyear on it, which a lot of times I think they save that writing for like high-end stuff with real riders. I don't think they put it on like uh, main lines anymore, but here you go. You look at that. <clears throat> Next one is Rebel Riders, or that's the series. This is called Woozy. It's a white motorcycle. Uh, next one is the pink bone shaker. I think there was a, su a superized version of this one. It's all metal as well, and it's a open roof variation. <coughs> got cold. I'm still fighting off and stuff. Um, next two cars got this like green window 34 Ford. Pretty cool color. Uh, 71 Dodge Challenger. Let's see here. Uh, 81 DeLorean DMC. Uh, let's see. These cars all fell to the ground. Um, damn. Um, this one I had as a kid. It's called Fire Eater. There it is. And I believe I remember playing with it a lot. So I got a newer one. Um, I don't know if my older one might have just uh, dings and stuff in it. <coughs> and I remember where I got it too. I think it was uh, Venture, which is a store that went out of business like 10 years ago, 20 years ago, I think. I think 97, so about 20 years ago. Pretty cool, pretty clean. Um, let's see, got a few cars that fell to the floor. I shall pick those up first. And the color just went out here. Okay, I got Purple Passion, this reddish color. Um, 73 Dodge, or 73 Ford Falcon. Let's see here. I got the classic Nomad in this purple color with flames on it. Let's see here. Let me put the bag here. I got a Talbot Lago. Um, I may have that one loose already, so <coughs> I should check to see the quality on that one. Make sure it's not damaged, then I can just open this one if it's bad. Uh, 64 Chevy Nova station wagon. I believe I do have one of these. Um, this was the first uh, model. First time it was released in 2013. You can take a look on the back if you need to. Okay, next one. 72 Ford. The yellow bubble. 32 Ford. Did I say 72? I don't know. I heard 72, whatever. Um, I think I actually paid 50 cents for this two-pack. So it's like, <coughs> let's see, is it Halloween? Looks Halloween. Yeah, the both pretty cool. This is a real old vintage car. Um, one of the original Hot Wheels, I believe. Let's see, it says Metal Collection. So does that mean it's all metal? I don't know. Limited Edition Series. Still pretty cool cars. Um, you read the back on there. So it looks like it was a Halloween edition and it came out around 2004. 
probably that year. Um, I'm not sure if it would say 2005 if it was for the next year. A lot of the 2016 Hot Wheels or 2017 Hot Wheels will say the previous years. I don't know, I don't know how about how Halloween stuff works. But anyways, this is called Shoebox. A nice red color. And I think I have the alternative color in blue. <coughs> and the last one from uh, this little toy show is the 68 Plymouth Barracuda Formula S. It's a pretty cool car. Um, let's see, I'm going to have to move all this stuff aside for a sec. Okay, the next few things are going to be stuff that I got from a swap meet. Which I didn't really get much from the swap meet this time around. Um... Usually I buy a lot, but I only bought three cars, so we got the Mars Rover, which <laughs> I got pretty cheap. They were three for two dollars, so I bought three. <laughs> I never had this one, um, and I think people wanted a lot of money for it, and I did actually get it pretty cheap. I think people are selling it from three to five dollars or something like that. Uh, next is Cloak and Dagger. <laughs> um, the guy had a bunch of them. It's actually a treasure hunt, but he did have a bunch of them. I didn't care to get like two, one to open, one to keep carded. Well, this particular one is kind of garbage. It's not really a great card to begin with, so I'll probably open it. You can see it's damaged there. So I'm opening, I'll probably open some of the ones, not card everything anymore, because that some of those crappier treasure hunts are kind of not worth keeping carded. Uh, next, <coughs> Porsche Carrera GT. This is a Zamac. Last year's Zamax did not say Zamac on it. This year they did, probably because they released the Zamac in the regular main lines. Um, next thing are these Walmart, uh, what you call it, blind bags. Um, I got this one. I opened, I actually got two of them, so they're both opened. Uh, this is the Batmobile, the gold one. The chase, whatever you call it, um, kind of hard to find. Uh, I did actually find it in the stores this time. The last one I didn't find in stores. I had to go to a flea market to get. <laughs> so I believe I heard there were like two per case or something. Maybe someone said that, and uh, I think people have been going through every case trying to find this. And I was lucky to find it. I actually did find two over the weekend. Um, this I think I found on Thursday and then I found one on Sunday. Uh, so it wasn't technically the weekend. So how you tell if it's the um, if it's the the uh, chase piece, the number, it says three on there, so it corresponds which whatever number is on there. So there's like a number three, and that's what that gold Batmobile is, and it's pictured there. You get the car and a sticker. Now I think in other countries it also comes with a little poster where you can check off stuff. Um, so I, I don't know which countries, I think maybe UK and Australia have stuff like that. Um, next is also from the uh, <coughs> Mystery Models, I have to look the back, it's a 74 Brazilian Dodge Charger in white. This is the only other one I was interested in, so I picked it up. This was car I think 12. And it's a pretty decent car. <coughs> okay, we're going to the next stuff. I got this stuff the same day as K-Day. Um, Toys R Us actually had some pretty recent stuff. And some of it was the same stuff at Kmart on that day. So I got the Loopster. Um, this is a hands-down variation. I don't know if I want to collect them all. Again, the two variations. They have the hands up, hands down. Still pretty cool. I gotta find where the other ones are. They, they're actually still connectable with that little uh, hitch on the back and the front. Um, next is this <coughs> Porsche 934.5. Pretty cool in black. Um, next is a 68 El Camino. Let's see more stuff. We'll go with the main lines. I have other stuff that aren't main lines over here. Uh, okay, I got this 50 Honda Civic EF. I think there are some JDM collectors that go nuts for this, um, and then they try to scalp that, or whatever they want to do with it. Um, 15 Mercedes AMG GT, <laughs> this had a yellow release, uh, we'll look at the back on this, okay, <coughs> uh, 
Excuse me. Um, let's see other stuff I got. <coughs> Can't remember if I had this, but I picked it up anyways. Surf and turf. I believe I have the red one, but not this turquoise color. Let's see. I'm trying to find if there's any more mainland stuff. Kind of. Ah, uh, well, I'm gonna have to dig for that. But we'll go on to this one. I don't think I had this one. 70 Chevy Chevelle in that baby bluish color. Pretty cool. Um, next, I guess I'll start showing the stuff I got from Dollar Tree. Now, Dollar Tree are getting in the Star Wars Hot Wheels, um, which I do collect. I pretty much have a lot of them now. Um, I had to think when I was at the store if I had them or not, because I had a bunch. But I believe I got every single one that I didn't have. So we got this one, which is the, what did it say, Partisan X-Wing Fighter. Pretty cool. And these were a dollar, so... I guess somehow all the a lot of the Dollar Trees are getting these in, and I guess maybe some warehouse store, warehouse or store sold them off. Could be Walmart maybe because I know Walmart have uh, given Dollar Tree stuff. They had some of those um, Guardians of the Galaxy cars at one of the stores I went to recently. So this is X-wing fighter, Resistance X-wing fighter. So I guess some of these expensive, st these are normally like $4 or $5 Hot Wheels. So this is pretty a uh, good deal for a buck. Uh, TIE Fighter. Um, sometimes Walmart will clearance these themselves. Like they do with the action figures. Probably the best time to buy these cars is when they have that Star Wars day where they have new figures that come out. Force Friday they call them now. This is Rebels, so I don't know anything about Star Wars Rebels. So they push off that old stuff and they gotta put it in the clearance rack. Um, and a bunch of stores get rid of it. Target, Walmart, and I think Walgreens gets rid of the Hot Wheels stuff. And some of the action figures they have. Um, next is uh, Mandal M Mandalorian Talon Fighter. It's Star Wars Rebels, so I don't know how to pronounce it because I've never seen Rebels. Um, let's see, I believe I got a couple more. I got this one, uh, Snow Speeder, First Order Snow Speeder. So I think this is this Rogue One or one of those movies, The Force Awakens. Rogue One is <coughs> actually probably not, not really re all that related to uh, The Force Awakens. It's supposed to be like a prequel to the, the original movies. Um, this is X Poe's X-wing fighter. Now, I know I have a Pose X-Wing fighter, but I don't think I had the Hot Wheels version. And these all come with little stands on them. Um, let's see. Got a few more jets to show you. <coughs> um, next thing I got was a, a Star Destroyer, First Order Star Destroyer. And I believe there are different versions of this. Uh, I think one version has like a little cockpit right on the roof there, the back. I know I have one that has that and this one doesn't have it so I can assume they're pretty different um, next I got this Republic gunship and uh, I think this might be the last of the Star Wars ones is this TIE fighter I think it's different than the ones I have but it's okay to collect like doubles of some of these ships because <laughs> you can create like a little fight scene with them especially with the TIE fighters because there's a lot of them in the movies and there are only a few ships that they probably have one or two of. Oh, this is probably something they have like a, a bunch of, so you could probably have a couple of those, create a little diorama scene. Let's see, next thing I got, um, Powerpuff Girls figures, which was a show on when I was a kid. I remember 12 or 11 years old, whenever it was. Um, <clears throat> got this and it was a dollar. It says only at Walmart and it was on clearance. This is four fifty on the side, but I scanned it and it came up a dollar. So you got Fuzzy Lumpkins, the mayor, and whoever the hell that guy is. Um, it probably sits on the thing here, but I'm too lazy to look. Uh, <coughs> you figure that out. Um, let's see, got more stuff. I got this Spider-Man uh, helmet. It's an all-metal helmet. Uh, mostly metal. I think there's only a few plastic parts. Uh, the plastic part being the stand... And maybe the part that's holding it on the inside there. So this is pretty cool. Um, it costs like uh, eight, 
nine dollars actually here's the price 8.99 is how much they were selling it at that's the price they paid for it so i pretty much had to buy it at that price it says only available at walgreens or it says walgreens exclusive um so far i don't think i've seen it any place else um i did get some blind bags at walmart a while back i got uh this is one punch man it's an anime show probably a, a manga book and i got this little figure and it cost a quarter I didn't pass it up because it was a quarter and it was probably something I may like eventually if I keep watching anime and manga. Um, I didn't get these other crappy things like little stupid keychains. <coughs> I got the bag somewhere. Is this it? Yeah, that's it. These were also a quarter as well. Crossy Road, whatever the hell that is. You got this pig. Two llamas or whatever you want to call them. Donkeys. I don't know, just whatever the heck you call them. They're like little blocky figures. Um, let's see. This one has its mouth open, and this one has his teeth out. Uh, I think the idea is to put it on like your book bag or something. Or wherever you want to put it in garbage. Probably better. Um, those things are actually real expensive. <coughs> um, let's see. This is probably the stand for this. I gotta figure out how you put it in there. I don't know how you put it in there. It must have fell apart a little or is that how you do it? I guess that's how you do it. I don't know. I don't care. <coughs> okay, next thing. Let's see what we got here. Got a lot of stuff. Uh, the Penguin Duck. Um, this is an $8 figure. Um, this is something I've never really seen in the stores. I think it may have been from a, a recent release. Um, I see a lot of people posting it on like Instagram and other collector sites like Facebook about it and it's a weird vehicle so I bought it um it's from whatever movie Batman Beget Returns I guess Danny DeVito wrote it um got another Walmart clearance item this is called uh Band Ratitude <coughs> the idea of this toy is that it doesn't use any batteries or anything it has a rubber band on the inside now to generate movement you just turn it and it'll go away oh let's see if I did it right yeah you can see it moves and it does have a switch so you can wind it and then see this this is a switch right here you wind it and it holds it for you and you just press I guess you press somehow forward and uh, you know if I had more space I could show it to you <laughs> Pretty cool. Um, I don't know if you can replace the rubber band. You probably could, but that style is probably going to be hard to find. If it was a standard rubber band, it would be pretty easy. Anyways, that's this. I think this costs around uh, 4 or 5 bucks. And they still sell them at some stores. But this one was clearance. Um, let's see. Something I got today was this. It's the Smart Car. Smart for 2 or whatever you call it. Which is a car I was looking for. I believe I saw it in the Maestro catalog last year. Um, it has a little reflector, th sticker, whatever you call it, on it. And I got this from Dollar Tree. You could probably find these at Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree or Walgreens. And I'm not sure if Toys R Us sells Maestros like these. But your best bet is Dollar Tree or Walgreens. Um, let's see, more stuff to show you. <coughs> I got... This, I think I got three cars, but they're not in order right now. Uh, this is a Minions Despicable Me. And the only way I was able to get this is if I went to a Kroger store. And I have a couple Kroger stores. We got Food for Less or Mariano's. But they don't seem to be getting exclusive, so I have to go to Kroger if I want these. And they didn't have the whole set. They only had like th three or four on the pegs. I'll show you more of those when I find them. <coughs> in this box I have on the floor. A next 69 Dodge Charger 500. Uh, it's a Moon Eyes one. And I have to check to see if I have it or not. <coughs> and it's from MK. So I have a little chance. I do have it. Let's see here. And I think a lot of the other cars. Except maybe a few. Are going to be from the county fair that I went to. Uh, Dairy Delivery. Um, these are all a dollar cars. Funny car. I like to collect the funny cars. Because they don't make them the way they used to. Um, pit Cruiser, 
which I think this car is a little expensive, and uh, it's part of the reason I liked it, and I also like motorcycles. Let's see here, more, more, more. Uh, let's see. Okay, we got a 70 Dodge Charger, Daytona, I like the Daytona, uh, 97 first edition Firebird Funny Car, um, I think this one may have had an, a big error on it that made it worth a thousand bucks or so. Ooh, this is probably the one that's worth a dollar because I think the dealer I got this from probably would have sold it on eBay or something. Um, let's see here. There's another despicable me car. It's one of the cars I collect. Uh, Dior 2. And it looks like they're starting to remove the removable parts. Which are the little surfboards that are on it. As you can see it's molded to the body. And it looks like the <laughs> base is metal now. And the body is plastic. I think it was uh, metal before. So that's a little discouraging about this. About collecting these newer ones. They would like to ruin everything. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, more cars. Um, got another pit cruiser, I believe. One of those high-end collector's ones. Uh, also got this little thing. The go-kart. Which is a pretty cool casting. I like to collect these. I tried... I was thinking of building a, like a um, go-kart scene, but I can't figure out how to do one. But I do have these like mounted on the wall with tack and stick. In a little go-kart little scene. Yeah, it's one of my favorite castings to collect. They're really small, and I think that means they can keep it mostly metal. Uh, next is Fished and Chipped, which is an okay looking car. Hot Wheels original casting. Got white Walt tires on here, and they're plastic wheels as well. Uh, it's all metal. I think most of those cars from this classic series are all metal. Uh, Firebird Funny Car. Um, all metal. These were all metal when they were made. Nowadays, they haven't really released them that much. Uh, let's see. And we're getting down to the final bit. Grizzler. Which was the car that I liked as a kid. I believe I had the, the white one. And I played with it a lot. And, uh... This particular one, this set, um, I believe I already had this, so this is going to be my opener set. I actually had the uh, Purple Passion, so I'll probably open both of these. Um, these are little two-packs. I think I paid two bucks for it, though. And I have the final two cars. I got the Nissan Skyline HT2000 GTX. <laughs> I found this at a grocery store. <coughs> it's called Jewel. Um, I, re I, don't, I didn't hit the store ever, uh, it was in a weird spot outside my collection, collect, my normal collecting places. I went there and, for groceries and stuff and I looked at Hot Wheels, they had them down several aisles. I went through a shipper, um, this store seems like to refill their shippers by hand. Some of the cars are all, like, put in there weird, they're put in, like, this, you know. You know, tiled like that, or whatever you want to call it. Um, so, yeah, this is a Nissan Skyline. And I think it's a harder casting to find, or it's a real uh, valuable. Collectors like it. Um, next is the Ferrari 458 Italia. Pretty cool. I already got... I posted this on a Facebook page, and someone already was interested in it, but I really wanted it, because I found it. And I... You know, stuff I find for myself, I tend to keep. Which is pretty cool. And I think that's about it. Um, so this was like two, maybe three weeks of finds. Um, there's nothing else I can think of to say right now. But um, anyways, you can like, share, comment, subscribe, and have a nice day.